What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're here with another outfit battle for you guys, but before we get into it, I want to make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and that like button because we have a bunch of content to come in 2019. When I die, I'm trying to be in the same spot that Biggie was Magic on your heart and set your dreams every day But that night when you fade away, you wonder if you really did enough well, You guys already know who I am, but you know who Aaliyah is too Because she's been in a couple of vlogs This is one of my other friends, Chuck What's up? My name's Chuck <laughs> Been in a couple of the other videos, I haven't been in the video for like a year Oh yeah? Yeah And he's going to be going up against me today in the outfit battle Today's outfit battle is going to be judged on creativity and the outfit alone. It's not gonna be judged on the cost of the outfit. It's strictly gonna be judged on creativity style. and style, how well everything was put together. I am the judge, if you guys haven't already guessed. Me and Obi are friends, so I'm gonna try not to be biased. I'm actually the perfect person for this because I'm very blunt, very straightforward and honest, so I'm excited. And she's, she's actually going to be doing her own outfit battle soon with her sister. So if you guys want to see that, definitely hit the subscribe button and make sure you stay tuned. Coming soon. So do the contestants have any commentary? I'm just here to do my thing. I'm just going to let my outfit speak. I don't really want to bash anyone or, you know, I'm just going to go in and come out. Just came to take the, you know, out here. Okay, so the theme is Soho, New York, fashion, streetwear. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna judge based off who has the best style, um, New York style, I guess. Um, Sounds good. Okay, I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm thinking of a number between yeah. one and ten. Whoever gets the number um, goes first. So I got my number. All right, I'm gonna say seven, three, four. Right. So he's going first. <laughs> Well, I need to do one last look yeah. before I judge. Side by side. Yeah, before I judge. Okay, I have my I have my thoughts. Yeah, you should give your thoughts on So before I judge, I want to know. I want you first to describe your style, where you got the inspo from, and what kind of look you're going for. So, Obi, you go first. Okay, so now look like. Well, so like in the last outfit battle, I <laughs> lost because I didn't wear enough color and. I usually always wear black, so I just wanted to show that like I could put good colors together, like the green kind of bounces off the yellow. You can't just like wear black pants with these because this is like a navy color. Oh, so, I thought that was black. Yeah, oh. it'll, it'll clash for sure if you wear black pants. So I did I, not know that was navy, okay. And I actually like left the pants I wanted to wear with these at school, but I thought the khaki was kind of neutral and kind of balanced it out because the green right here is a little crazy and the yellow is obviously popping, so that's what I went for. And then the mask just to add a little bit of edge. <laughs> little uh, Japanese inspo? Yes. Mine is pretty workwear based, you know. I have the Carhartt shirt, uh -huh. Carhartt jacket, short coat, and then uh, military fatigue pants. These things are so comfortable, I wear these all the time. These are Stan Ray. And then the shoes, are some camo forces from uh, 2012, from the 30th anniversary, and I don't know, like New York, can't New go York wrong with that force, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I feel like that's the type of vibe they go for, but they intend as Air Force Ones, and you know, Soho in particular, there's a whole bunch of different styles, so yeah. it's, you can be versatile with anything you can do, but just the streets of New York, I feel like a typical 
New Yorker, they're gonna come with something that's just comfortable, but still something that will pop and have people do a double take. Sounds pretty good to me. Okay. Well, <clears throat> who should I judge first? Okay, Obi. I like the colors that you put together. I think they balance out really nicely, and I did not know those shoes were navy. That changes everything. A lot of people actually think they're black. Um, and then I like the mask. I think that's different. And New York is dirty, so I think it's pretty fitting to wear a little medical mask. Yeah. I think that's cool, and it looks edgy. And it definitely catches my attention. Like, you would catch my eye if I saw you in New York. Okay, so Chuck. Okay, Chuck, so I like the colors that you use. The orange and the black typically can look like Halloween colors, but with the green, I like how it kind of made it look like its own little look and not like Halloween-y. Um, and I like the jacket a lot. I feel like the, ja the jacket is very New York vibe. So that's the best part of your outfit. Um, Obi, I would say the best part of your outfit is the navy shoes with the yellow and your mask, your accessory. Thank you. And then the best part of your outfit is the jacket, obviously. Okay, now I'm going to say what I don't like. I don't like how the pants are rolled up at the bottom where the, shock, the, the socks show. Mm. I don't know, I just think it looks too short on you. You know what I mean? By length, lengthwise. I feel like it should be unrolled mm. and then you would be good. And then, I don't like how you didn't wear a jacket. Yeah. Because New York is all about wearing jackets, I feel like, and layering. I really like his jacket. And it, I don't know, it just screams New York vibe with the colors and, yeah, I like, I just, I like the jacket a lot. I'm nervous, guys. <laughs> if I don't make sense, comment down below. I'm going back and forth between you guys because I really like his jacket. And if he didn't have the jacket, he would probably lose. And I really like your colors and the mask and the yellow a lot. So wait, I, yeah, I need I need a second opinion. Yeah. But yeah, help me, Michael. What do you um, think? I feel like it's a tough one. It's very it's for sure a close match. I would go with Obi though, only because I like the session with the mask and the shoes. Yeah, the, those wraps the, the mask is dope. Like, but Chuck did come. <laughs> yeah, like, like it's a simple look. There aren't yeah, a lot of patterns. I feel like if I was walking down New York, I could for sure see something like that. I'm going, I'm gonna have to say that Obi won this battle because it's very different. It's very creative, and New York is all about diversity. It's about being versatile, like you said. Sorry, Chuck. Um, but New York is, such, is like the fashion capital of the world and you see all different types of styles there and they don't discriminate towards style and I think you would fit in well being in New York right now and mm -hmm. you, you just catch my eye with the mask. The mask like really I also feel like New York can also be very crazy like this. Like you see people walking down the streets with like vape shark hoodies. Mm -hmm. You see people walking down the streets with just like stuff that's very also unorthodox but like how you said traditional, I definitely think Chuck does have the For traditional sure. New York look and it's like workwear. So I thought that was cool. And I was actually like really shook going into the dressing room. I'm like, damn, I, maybe I had to come harder. Like, I don't know, but yeah. You won, congratulations. <laughs> this was really hard. You guys did well. I'm, I'm impressed. Yeah, Obi, Obi stuff is cool, bro. I mean, the rafts are cool. I don't really see rafts too often, especially as we go. The face mask throws me off, I can't lie, but you know, <laughs> it is what it is. I like the camo sweater though. The face mask low key, thank you. The face mask low key threw me off too, because I was in there like, I don't know, should I just do no face mask? Should I do face mask? And then I just end up going with it just because I brought it. Yeah, and mm -hmm. you have no no, no accessory. jacket or anything. Yeah. I wish I had like some rings or something. If I could make my outfit better, I would have rings. Oh yeah, definitely with this. I would probably have like a small silver chain, maybe like a couple of them and just give it like a layered look mm -hmm. and kind of just go like a little crazy with accessories. And I didn't want to wear a hat this time around, so that's where that came from. Yeah, you guys did really good with color. I'm very impressed. Thank you. And I'm glad that you guys did color, not all black. Insert black photo of... <laughs> Shout out to Chuck for coming through. <laughs> Shout out to our judge for having us. I appreciate both of you guys. It was definitely a good battle. Uh, in my eyes, it also could have went to Chuck. 
So, for sure. I just want to make sure you guys stay tuned and don't miss out on the next outfit battle. And we want to hear what you think about this one in the comment section. So if you think there's anything that we could have did better, comment below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and that like button. Peace out. Of course, I will be. Shout out the audience too. Yeah, hey, Michael Mark. Hey. Hey. Peace out. <laughs> Michael brought some African food. Shout out to him. <laughs> so give, give, him a, give him a shout out. Michael him. Mark, shout out to you. <laughs> so you guys know me. I'm courtside OB. No way. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna be judged on color. It's not gonna be <laughs> from the last from the last battle. I'm nervous. <laughs> Wait, can we pause it? No, I'll cut it out. I'll cut it. Okay. Take your time. Take okay. Time. Yeah, I was running out of breath when I was talking. I know, I'm like talking too fast. I was like, wanted to wear a different pair of pants. <laughs> <laughs> okay, take two. <laughs>